click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, we have learned how to prepare estimated contract account or total contract account where in a question we have information about actual expenditure and estimated expenditure. Now estimated expenditure are based on some estimation, expectation. There is possibility that actual expenditure may be more than expected or it may be less than expected. So in that case, how provision is made to adjust that difference, probable difference that will be studying in this question. Let us start with the question. Marvel Infrastructure Limited commenced a contract on 1st April 2009. The total contract price is 17,50,000 and it is likely to be completed on 31st December 2010. So here we have starting contract on 1st April 2009 and ending on 31st December 2010. The actual expenditure up to 31st March 2010 and subsequent estimated expenditure up to December 2010 are given below. So here we are having information of one financial year where actual expenditure are given that is year 2009-2010 contract is covering 12 months and then subsequent period is given that is starting from 1st April 2010 up to 31st December 2010. So 1st April 10 up to 31st December 10. Now this is a period of 9 months. So in all actual expenditure is given for 12 months and expected expenditure are given up to 31st December 2010 that is a period of 9 months. So 12 months plus 9 months total contract is running for a period of 21 months because of this information given as estimated expenditure we are required to prepare total contract account or estimated contract account. Let us go through the information now material issued it is given actual as well as estimated contract account debit direct labor actual as well as estimated is given contract account debit subcontract charges contract account debit chargeable expenses contract account debit plant purchased at the beginning of the year beginning of the contract there is a purchase of plant worth 150000 we are required to consider depreciation on plant this is the asset purchased is a capital expenditure so we are going to charge only depreciation to the contract account plant returned to stores at the end of the period 50000 here you are required to note the word original cost that means the plant return at the end of the year was originally purchased for 50,000 but throughout the period of one year 12 months it has been used on the contract so we are required to take full year depreciation on this plant return that is of 50,000 here they have said plant return 1 lakh that is contract is completed so out of 1 lakh 50,000 plant of 50,000 was written on first 31st March that is at the end of the first year and the balance plant has been written after a period of nine months that is the end of contract period so on this one lakh we are required to take subsequent depreciation for a period of nine months which will not be applicable to plant value of rupees 50,000 architect fees contract account debit material at site contract account credit this will become part of work in progress work certified in bracket they have said cumulative first year they have said 10 lakhs and at the end of the year they have said 17 lakh 50 thousand now contract price here we have 17 lakh 50 thousand same amount we are finding here work certified that means work certified 
is equal to contract price that means contract is completed that is 17 lakh 50 thousand is amount of contract price and it is also amount of work certified work uncertified this will be also recorded to the credit of contract account cash received at the end of first year amount is 8 lakhs and then we have received 9 lakh 50 thousand that means total amount we have received let us see what is the additional information we have the plant is subject to annual depreciation of 20 percent per annum now you can see here we have purchased plant of 1 lakh 50 thousand this whole plant we have used during the first period that is one year for 2009 2010 we have to take full year depreciation that is 1 lakh 50 thousand multiplied by 20 percent 30 thousand this amount we are going to debit to contract account 1 lakh 50 thousand full plant has been used for the full year so 20 percent it comes to 30 thousand of this plant of 50 thousand was written after a period of one year so next period that is 2010 11 that is a period of nine months we have out of 1 lakh 50 thousand plant of 50 thousand is written so balance plant we have is of 1 lakh on this 1 lakh we are required to calculate depreciation at the rate of 20 percent but for a period of nine months so here we get the value 15,000 so depreciation 15,000 is relating to the expected nine months expenditure so in all on that contract during first period 30,000 during second period 15,000 so total 45,000 is the amount of depreciation which will be debited to estimated contract account or total contract account that the rupee is 9,000 would be sufficient to meet contingencies now what is this information we are preparing estimated contract account based on certain estimated expenditure these estimations may sometime go wrong therefore to be on a safer side we are creating a margin so that we'll get reasonable amount of estimated profit so here clear figure is given that is 9000 should be increased to total cost of contract so here 9000 will be putting to the total contract account debit this is expected difference in expenditure what we have expecting and what we may realize this is the based on certain assumption and direct figure is given 9000 this has to be debited to contract total contract account it was decided that profit to be taken credit for should be that proportion estimated net profit to be realized on completion of contract which the credited sorry certified values of work as on 31st march 2010 it was decided that profit to be taken credit for should be that portion of the estimated net profit to be realized on completion of contract with the certified value of work as on 31st march 2010 bears to total contract price now here they are giving information how we are required to allocate national profit based on estimated profit formula they are here suggesting that it will be estimated profit multiplied by certified value of work that is work certified divided by contract price that is total contract price so this is the formula which we are going to use to divide estimated profit so that we can come to know how much amount of national profit we are required to transfer to profit and loss account we have discussed the whole question here now let us solve this question we are required to prepare two accounts that is contract account based on actual expenditure for one year 
then estimated total or memorandum contract account for a period of total 21 months let us start now we are starting with contract account for 12 months based on actual expenditure first item we have here material issued 4 lakh 80 thousand architect fees here amount is 20 thousand material at site 20 thousand work certified 10 lakhs work uncertified 25,000 so total work in progress is here 10 lakh 45,000 during first period of 12 months the whole plant was used so we'll be taking 20% depreciation which comes to 30,000 so this 30,000 will be put here depreciation on plant whole amount 30,000 we have recorded all expenses relating to the first period of the contract that is 12 months now we can find out the amount of national profit let us close contract account to find out national profit or national loss so credit is heavy 10 lakh 45 thousand and we are getting your balancing figure on debit side 2 lakh 25 thousand this 2,25,000 we refer as national profit. It is brought down here so that we can divide it between profit and loss account and reserves. Usually we divide this based on percentage of work certified to contract price. But here they have given the information about the subsequent period so we are required to prepare estimated contract account so that we can divide this amount of 2 lakh 25000 so let us proceed for completing estimated contract account considering the whole period of total contract account or estimated contract account will cover expenses of both the periods that is first period of 12 months and second period of 9 months so 12 months of first period and nine months of second period will be added and total nine months expenditure we are required to consider so here material issued 12 months expenditure 4 lakh 80 thousand plus estimated expenditure 3 lakh 14 thousand 500 direct labor 2 lakh 20 thousand plus we are required to consider expected 1 lakh 60 thousand this is how we'll be adding all expenses actual expenditure as well as estimated expenditure let us start with this we have here thereby added all expenses material labor subcontract charges chargeable expenses architect fees depreciation on plant for first period it will be 30,000 and on second for second period it will be 15,000 so that total amount 45,000 here we got for the total contract account now in the question they have said that the rupees 9000 would be sufficient to meet contingencies so this 9000 we are going to debit to contract account total contract price here given in the question 17 lakh 50 thousand this will be credited here because on completion of contract we are going to get full this amount of 17 lakh 50 thousand now we have recorded all expenses actual as well as ex estimated in total contract account let us try to find out estimated profit total of credit side is 17 lakh 50 thousand after deducting all expenses we are getting estimated profit 2 lakh 97 thousand 500 this amount will be used now to divide national profit for that purpose we are required to make one small working note we have gone through the question it says that you are required to prepare contract account and show your calculation profit to be credited to profit and loss account and they say that it was decided that profit to be taken credit for the sh should be that portion of estimated net profit to be realized on completion of contract which certified value of work as on 31st March 2010 bears to total contract price. 
estimated profit as given by estimated contract account multiplied by work certified upon contract price so here we got estimated profit 297 500 contract price we have 17 lakh 50000 we'll solve this to get that amount we got amount here 1 lakh 70000 with the help of this equation we got the figure 1 lakh 70000 that means 1 lakh 70000 is required to be transferred from national profit to profit and loss account here we have contract account for a period of 12 months we have 2 lakh 25000 as national profit as per our working note out of this 1 lakh 70000 1 lakh 70000 will go to profit and loss account balance 55000 will go to reserves This is how we have calculated the amount of national profit to be transferred to profit and loss account. In this question, the unique point was provision for contingencies, which was given in amount, rupees 9000, that we have debited to total contract account. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda.